Now, I just want to talk through the process on how I create decals, and I want to share this with you. Now, we are going to go from scratch. This is the normal map that I'm using, and this is the ambient occlusion map that I'm using, but I'm using it as a diffuse as well. Now, to start off, I've kind of already started creating some pieces, and let's just go ahead and add in another one. Just for now, I'm going to go over into the asset browser and go through my kit bashing models. And let's find one that I like. I do like this one. Let's see if we can use this. So I'm going to kind of line it up there. Now I already do have a plane that I'm using. I'm just going to move it underneath. So it's sitting just below the plane like so, just like all the other pieces. And the work's pretty much done for that. Now I'm hoping there's a problem, but we'll talk about that later on how to fix it. So from here, we've got a plane. I'm, I'm just going to delete the original material. What we need to do is add in a new image texture like so. I'm going to click new, 1024 by 1024. That's fine. Okay. Now I just want to have it clicked and select it. Now what we can do is go into wireframe mode. I'm going to select all my objects and make sure I've got my plane selectors last. From here, we've got to make sure we're in cycles, GPU. You can turn down the sampling rate. And from here in the bottom right hand corner on the rendering settings, we've got bake. Now I'm going to first bake the normals and I'm going to make sure I enable selected to active. So I've selected everything. Make sure that my plane is the last thing I've got selected because we're going from selected to active. And then I'm just going to press bake. Now it is a fairly quick process, which is awesome. We'll talk about some problems baking the normals in a sec, but let's just kind of carry on with this. Once you've baked your map image, save as, and then I'm just going to call this I'll just rename what I've already got decal set four underscore N save image. Let's now normals and we're going to bake in our ambient occlusion bake. And now we've done our ambient occlusion from here. Make sure we save it, save as ambient occlusion, save image as now the thing is, is I've already set some of these up. So if we kind of come into material mode, actually we'll go into rendered mode. And we can see what they actually look like. So we've got a little bit of overlapping here on one of the textures. I'm just going to put an edge loop and we'll just slice that puppy off. And we'll bring up the UV map again, the UV editor, sorry. I'm just going to duplicate this, move along the Y axis. Let's go tab into edit mode. And it is bringing up the old one. So let's make sure we update it to the new one. Tab into edit mode. And then from here, now this is kind of like the tricky thing. We can place it over the new piece. However, what I do recommend is if I go scale Y two, I do it on this side as well. Scale X Y two. There we go. So that kind of fits in a lot better. Now, obviously we can bake the diffuse and get the colors from it, but for these objects, I kind of want it to be embedded into the hulls of spaceships and such. So I'm not going to bother with doing that, but let's kind of talk about that in a sec. From here, the decal material setup is very simple. We've got our ambient occlusion and we've got our normal. Normal goes into the map, into the principal BDSF. And then we've got our ambient occlusion. It goes into the alpha down the bottom and into our color. Now you can see that everything is white. It's not exactly what we want. Unfortunately, we have to jump into another application. Now, Creta is my drug of choice. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is just get my ambient occlusion decal, throw it into there come up into filters and we go into colors, color to alpha. And then we're going to make sure we've got white selected and okay. And now we can see that we're only left with black file export, uh, as the PNG save. Yes, please. Shush back into blender. It doesn't automatically update. So what I normally do is close the ambient occlusion, open, pick out AO4, and now you can see that we've got it like that. Sick. If that is a little bit long winded, I highly recommend decal machine. That's uh, what I normally use quite a bit now and kind of like individual assets. I can select, press N. Ah, oh, this is a Blender 4 file in 3.6. Open up another version. So now if I were to select this, press N, Coming to the add-on, I can click on create, create a simple decal. Uh, and I, I think I stuffed up. So if I were to select that, this kind of like has disp 
displacement um i think it's called displacement let's just delete that we need to enable the alpha anti-aliasing times four the resolution we can increase emmy inclusion and it's kind of like a yeah whole bunch of settings that you can play around with the big thing that i'll be creating for patreon soon will be atlases and trim sheets so that that's where you can apply uh, panel lines and such across objects cool and then from here we can go kind of a cube let's give it a little bit of love and then i can click and drag that onto there scale um d project there we go i don't know why it's doing that all of a sudden a little bit frustrating um, but if i were to go kind of like start adding in this kind of stuff it does work Thank <laughs> you.